Introducing Assert IQ ICM, the intelligent cardiac monitor that revolutionizes arrhythmia detection and management. This video will guide you through the insertion procedure and basic programming for the Assert IQ insertable cardiac monitor from Abbott. Prior to opening the sterile package, initiate communication with the device by placing the magnet over the ICM for three seconds. Remove and then touch interrogate monitors on the Merlin Patient Care System programmer screen. Enter the reason for monitoring and the implant date. Select the Patient tab and enter the patient information on this screen. Finally, select the Follow-up Physician tab and enter the appropriate information. Once finished, select Save and Close to continue. A message will be displayed to confirm appropriate sensing. Wait until after the ICM has been inserted to press Confirm Sensing. The device is now ready for insertion. Peel back the outer tray cover, starting with the corner labeled with an arrow. Observing sterile technique, lift up the end of the inner tray that rests in the recess in the outer tray, or flip over the outer tray so that the inner tray falls onto the table within the sterile field. The sterile tray contains one incision tool, one insertion tool, and one preloaded Assert IQ insertable cardiac monitor. The ICM is inserted under the skin in the left pectoral region. Abbott recommends implanting the device in the fourth intercostal space, 45 degrees relative to the sternum, along the axis of the heart. An additional insertion location includes fourth intercostal space parallel to the sternum. Local anesthetics should be used prior to inserting the ICM. To make the incision, use a finger to stretch the patient's skin by applying pressure backwards. Follow the angle of the incision tool to make the incision in the stretched skin directly in front of the finger holding it. The triple edge blade is designed to reduce puncture force. To begin, hold the insertion tool by its wings and position your thumb against the end of the plunger to prevent it from retracting during insertion. Insert the blunt dissection tip at a 45 degree angle into the incision site until you have reached the desired depth. Once you have reached the desired depth, gradually lower the angle of the tool to approximately 10 degrees as you push the tip into the subcutaneous layer. Ensure the insertion tool is almost parallel to the patient's chest at this point. Insert the ICM at an approximate depth of 5 millimeters, but no deeper than 2 centimeters. Advance the insertion tool until the flared edge meets the incision site. Using one hand, hold the tool in place by gripping the rib sides firmly at the incision site. With the free hand, withdraw the plunger until the preloaded ICM drops into the insertion channel. While continuing to hold the ribbed edges firmly, Use two fingers to grasp the wings and place a third on the plunger. Advance the plunger to insert the device into the subcutaneous layer. Apply pressure to the incision site so that the device does not move. Then remove the insertion tool. If mapping is desired, position the Merlin Patient Care System within range of the ICM. Select Tests and then measure R-Wave signal amplitude. Apply pressure on the incision site to stop any bleeding and achieve hemostasis. Close the incision using a preferred method of choice. If topical skin adhesive is used, avoid getting adhesive on the sensing electrodes of the device. 